All right, so we're here with Stanford head coach Jared Haas, and let's just get right into it. How was day one? Uh, it was good. Uh, day one's never uh, seamless. There's always a lot of teaching, uh, probably more instructing, and uh, getting people organized and explaining drills than it will be even a week from now. But having said that, I thought there was a lot of progress. Uh, we were able to build on the things we worked on in the spring and the summer. Um, and I thought the guys' attention to detail was really good. You mentioned Tuesday there's going to be big differences on what people see on defense and offense from last season and what you guys are asking them to do on the court. None of this, what's the progress been that you've seen in practice? What has stood out to you about how they're transitioning? Uh, you know, candidly, at the beginning stages right now, there's not going to be a whole lot of difference because our foundation is still going to be our half-court man-to-man defense and uh, um, our motion offense, which will be a little bit different than our, our break. And so those are, are still some staples from last year. And then we're going to, as we hopefully master those or at least get better at those things, then we'll slowly introduce the other things as well. So I'd say I'd say the, the progress is going how we want right now. But again, it's not like the whole uh, system is in place yet. So yeah, you actually, you sounded kind of like a guy at a buffet earlier in the week because it just seemed like everything was on the table in terms of things you might be able to do. So how much time do you want to give yourself for experimentation? Are you happy to have that run all the way through the start of the season? Yeah, and I would, I, it's not going to be experimentation because we've, as a staff, we've really evaluated what we have and what, we're, what, our, what our plan is. And I think we have a really solid plan in place. So it's almost like, you know, at the buffet, you are adding layer by layer by layer. And the end goal uh, may look just a little bit different than what we have in our mind right now, but I think it's going to be pretty darn similar. So as we go through things and add things, um, we may tinker with it and tweak it a little bit, but for the most part, we know what the, the end goal is going to be with our system, and now we're just kind of getting layer by layer getting to that point. Good. I was just going to say, behind us, Travis is working on a skill set that will frighten a lot of opposing teams right now if he's able to master it. Uh, can you talk about the work he's put in this offseason, especially since he uh, got healthy? Yeah, Reed's a, a tremendous uh, person and player, but his work ethic is second to none. His shot, he understands and he knows that that needs to become more consistent. You know, if he's making 17 footers at a consistent basis, that'll just help the rest of his game. Uh, my goal and his goal is not to become just a 17 or foot shooter, even a three point shooter, even if he shoots it well, because he's so good at you know putting the ball on the ground, playing around the basket, that we want to make sure there is balance to his game. But like you said, if he can shoot it well from 17 feet, even out the three point line, that is going to be something that can uh, just add more dimensions to his game. Uh, what is the teaching point on the first day of practice for man-to-man -man defense? The fundamentals, I mean, we're, we're talking a lot about guarding the basketball, we're talking a lot about closeouts, we're talking a lot about uh, the help positions we're going to be in, and it's the stuff that a fifth grade team would do. Candidly, but mastering the fundamentals, both offensively and defensively, is, is going to be the foundation of what we do, and it needs to be the identity. I mean, all the other things we talk about will layer on that, but if the foundation isn't strong, then it's kind of pointless to move on. I uh, think we're going to talk to Dejan today. If you could just talk a little bit about working with him and getting more opportunities to work with him and the other freshmen. Yeah. Dejan's had a great attitude. He's certainly a talented player. Uh, he has a great motor, great feel for the game. Uh, as much as anything, his ability to pass uh, and see the floor and be unselfish is really, really good. Uh, but he's today I thought having a good attitude was able to make some plays. And, you know, for the freshmen, all the freshmen, I think there's such a huge learning curve right now. We're throwing so much at them that uh, you know, at some point before too long, they won't have to think through everything. But at this point, they'll be able to think through a lot of them. How much more have you seen from Dorian and Mike in leading them? Because this is a time when it would really help to have them be a little bit more vocal than they've been in the past. Yeah, I think overall they've, they've embraced that leadership trait. Today, pra today's practice, we kind of split up the old guys and the young guys. Um, so they still did a good job of reaching across you know, the other team and kind of helping. Uh, but at the same time, too, they weren't always on their team. Uh, so you know, it wasn't uh, quite as evident. But overall, as a whole, they've been great about uh, embracing the young guys, teaching them, teach them how to do things. Earlier this week, you said you know that the onus is kind of on Michael and Charma to use those physical skills more consistently. Uh, what are the steps you've seen this summer, and you know, with beginning today, what do you want to see in terms of what those steps look like? Yeah, it doesn't need to be really fancy for those guys. They need to be awesome offensive rebounders, uh, efficient around the goal. We're gonna try and do a good job of getting them touches deep in the paint, where uh, you know it's not eight or ten foot 
plays. You know, they're making things at the rim, and then have the ability to make open shots when they are facing the basket. Um, that they've, uh, I think they, they understand what we're going to try and get to what is going to be a good shot, not a good shot. Um, but our expectations are high for them. And I just, just one last thing. Who would you say was the returner of the day? Returner of the day. Um, I'd probably go with uh, I'd probably go with Dorian. I mean, it, you know, he's kind of been the answer I've used a lot recently, but uh, thought he was really consistent, had a great great mindset, especially on the defensive end. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Okay.